What's up guys, DJ back again, and I'm investing in Tarzos, as well as Pokemon. So, there's going to be a few Tarzo videos. If you don't know what Tarzos are, um, you'll soon find out. Uh, there is Pokemon Tarzos, I still haven't got them yet, but I will. Um, reason why I'm investing in Tarzos, uh, similar to Pokemon, I like just how it reminds me of my childhood, when I used to have Tarzos, when I used to have Pokemon cards. Um, and it's very similar in the sense that it's very, uh, they've got popular characters, iconic stuff like Star Wars, uh, Pokemon, like I mentioned, they had Goosebumps. Not sure if you know what Goosebumps are, but don't worry, I will still do Pokemon. Just saying, this is a little bit something extra on the side for me. Um, but let's show you some stuff. Let's go. Alrighty guys, so very first Tarzo investment video and today, like I said before, I am doing Goosebumps Tarzos for today and I have a lot of other Tarzos that I've just bought but this will be the first one I do just to crack it off. So this is what they used to look like, I mean they still look like it, but these are like those um, flip it ones. Um, that Pokemon did as well. And Goosebumps was a TV series. They also made a books. I'm just going to flip through these so you can see them. And yeah, so you flip it and it's got a bit of emotion. So I'll just talk my way through um, why I'm doing this and a few other things. So that's what the back looks like. I think this is series one. And that's, it's out of, I believe, 60. So that's the last card. Um, not sure if you guys watch the TV show, but these are all based off the TV shows, kind of snippets, and the books. Um, yeah, it used to be a really cool series. Um, if you're not a 90s kid, you probably won't really recognize these, but don't worry, there'll be other Tarzos that you'll see that I'm collecting. I actually got this for, sorry, the focus... I got this for fifteen dollars, I believe. Um, postage, I don't know, could be thirty dollars all up, including postage. Sorry, not flipping the right way. Reader beware, you're in for a scare. That's the slogan, I think. Reading is a scream. Classic episodes. And I know I've got a lot of Pokemon fans that are subscribed, so doing Tarzos, uh, you don't have to watch these videos, but trust me, there's really cool Tarzos you won't want to miss out on. Um, and these are just like growing in value too, just as Pokemon, not as strong. Um, I'd say the market, most of the Tarzos that I've got are Australian made, so if you're not in Australia, you might not know some of these Tarzos. I think they reference them as pogs in um, overseas and maybe America and stuff. Pogs were the name, but very similar. Or flippets or something. Pickers, I think they call it. Let me go. Uh, let me know if you read any of these books. See, I'm pretty sure my sister had this book. Be careful what you wish for it might come true. Sorry for the bad focusing. Yeah, my sister had this book, I remember. They used to have those books where you choose what you do as well. And it was funny, I actually bought the Goosebumps TV series, the box set. I watched two episodes and I just couldn't. It was so cringy. Uh, maybe when I was a kid, it was all like, wow, like... I think it's going out of focus because of the flips. But, um, it was really cringy. <laughs> Uh, but it was so cool back when I was a kid, obviously. Um, some of these I, rec I recognize, um, also used to play the video game, Goosebumps. So, yeah, I, obviously I'm collecting Tarzos, there's plenty of different Tarzos to collect. Um, and SM Pratt just actually posted a video about how collecting is the same as investing, and I truly believe what he says in that video was like, you know, True. Um, so yeah, in a way, I am collecting Tarzos, 
and in a way I'm investing. These have grown in value, as I said before. Um, used to get these in like chip packets. Um, chip packets were like two, three dollars, or even a dollar sometimes back in the day. Um, and now these things can like some valuable ones are worth like you know the five, ten dollar mark or twenty dollars for Dragon Ball Z gold car, uh, gold Tazos. Sorry guys, it just went out my camera. So there's a scarecrow. Um, but Tazos were a big thing in the '90s, so. If you're a 90s kid, you'll definitely remember these. Um, or even just the TV series, Goosebumps. Yeah. So recently I bought Star Wars collection of Tarzos. Um, I've got a few Simpsons, Batman, Robin, <laughs> um, Space Jam. So I'm going to be showing all of those on the channel as well. Although there have been... Um, posts of Tarzos on YouTube. I've seen a few videos of people showing their Tarzo collection. But I'm telling you, like, pretty much all the details where these are from, how you used to get it, um, prices, uh, yeah, just all this. <laughs> I am showing you a bit more up close too, so a lot of people just show the binder. So I'm actually going to try to take the Tarzos all out of the binder so you can actually see them up close and personal. I'm not really showing the back of these, I know, but... And it's really struggling to focus my camera because of all the flips. So I apologize on that. And that one's from Monster Blood 3. Yeah, these used to be cool. And I believe there is... A Series 2 version of this as well. So they went up to a Goosebumps Series 2 Tarzo action, flip it, or whatever you want to call it. Um, so yeah, oh, I remember this guy. It's creepy. It was a doll. It's really struggling to focus on these things. Night of the Living Dummy 2, yeah. So there was a few of these. <laughs> Goosebumps. Do, 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 do. Yeah, the um, TV show was pretty funny. Uh. So yeah, I plan on holding these. Uh, no real time frame. I'm just going to keep holding them until... Uh, I don't know. Until I get sick of them or... I never really get sick of these things anymore. I'll just hold them. They don't take too much space. So, um, I can pretty much hold them forever or like, you know, if my kids want to sell them. I guess that could be the other option. Um, as I do have that 20 year, uh, Pokemon goal, I, instead of selling, I could probably just leave it all to my kids and they can, uh, sell it and use the money for whatever they wish. In a way, it's a parting gift, or they can, you know, continue to hold it if they like. I know there's been a few um, Facebook posts, or you know, some some of the older gen. I saw a post recently about a someone's grandma passed away, and they had a whole collection of Pokemon, very valuable cards, all like sleeved and everything. And um, yeah, they got a, a decent amount for the uh, for the collection. And obviously, you know, the uh, the grandma didn't sell it or, you know, do anything with it over the years. They just held on to it. So, yeah, I might even do that with these. Who knows what these will be worth in another decade or two. Uh, probably not too much, but just that nostalgia feel of looking at these reminded me of, like, the show that I used to watch, the book I used to read. Um... Yeah, there was a lot of books. R.L. Stein, he was like a genius when he made these. I know I didn't show the back for many. And usually the back shows the title or the episode where it was from. So yeah. There'll be, uh, I'll be trying to show all of these uh, Tarzos that I bought. And I bought heaps. Um, quite some good deals as well, and, um, I guess one of the, 
the best seals I've I've seen was probably the um, Star Wars one I've got, and I'll be happy to show that. Um, a complete of set of Tarzos for Star Wars online on eBay was going for like I think sold listings were going for like two hundred, two fifty. Um, that was a complete set, and then I think there is I can't remember off memory. But I'm missing three. So I bought a, someone's collection of Star Wars Tarzos, and I'm missing three of the rarest ones. Um, but I bought it for $50. So that's quite a good deal if I can uh, slowly get the other three that I need. Then that would be a complete set. And um, already, like even in today's market, it's worth quite a lot. Simpsons as well, same thing. Uh, worth quite a lot and I, I feel like these things maybe not so much goosebumps because it's not as popular but something like star wars um pokemon simpsons they're going to be around for a very long time like kids are knowing about like i tell my kids they're going to tell their kids so these will hold some sort of value hopefully <laughs> as a collectible um uh, people got to stay interested i guess but that is the plan. I remember this one <laughs> as a book. What is it called? Escape from the Carnival of Horrors. Mm. Let me know in the comment section if you ever used to collect these or if you ever watched the book, uh, watched the TV series or read the books. Um, yeah, I don't know if any of these reminded you of what you used to do when you were a kid. I have no idea. For my audience selection i think most of you guys are older so you'd probably know a lot of these um but yeah let me know what you want to see next as well i've got um all those ones i've mentioned um i have no particular order in showing them uh, i've just made them as recent purchases a lot of recent purchases so um and it does take time to show all of these so, they're going to have to do their own video, I guess. Hmm. But I'm excited to do it and uh, show you guys what I got. Uh, the return of investment for these kind of things is very long term. You're going to have to hold it for a long time. Uh, similar to Pokemon, these are like nearly the, tw the 20 year old mark. Um, but yeah, I still need to get a binder for these particular Tazos. The other ones have their own binders and you know pockets and stuff. And yeah, this is the last card. I guess what it inspired me also was the opening of that Tarzos for the Michael Jordan one in one of the previous videos I had. Uh, if you haven't watched that, feel free to do so. But otherwise, yeah, that was 60 of 60 Goosebumps Tarzos all lined up. i got to put them in their own sleeves. So... Let me know what you think of that new investment and I'll show you all the other new Tarzos that I just bought. Maybe the Batman and Robin coming up next. Um, but yeah, like, subscribe, comment below. See you next time.